There are plenty of milestones in New South Wales this past week, including Shadow Hunters win at Bathurst last Wednesday week. It was a Gelding's first win in 18 starts, and he certainly made it memorable by spacing his rivals by this much. 28-9 the third quarter. It's in front by a dozen metres. I think it's getting away from them. July's in second spot. Third, Browns Creek boy. And then came on the outside, Lady Jessica Shannon. Front of medal. And down the outside, Shannon's the man. But in front, down to the line, Shadow Hunter. It'll win by a big space. Have a look at this win at Penrith last Thursday by Good Time Slater. It was the Gelding's first win in a year, hence why he caused an upset at odds of $87. It also gave Joe Connolly his first win in three years as a trainer and his eighth win as a driver, and he claimed this pacer back in October. Master dip, Good Time Slater. Good Time Slater hits the lead and goes for home. Good Time Slater's gonna cause a boil over here. Good time, Slater. Big salute from Joe Connolly. It was a big night for trainer Michael Doltoff and driver Josh Willick at Bankstown last Friday. They not only walked away from the meeting with a treble, but won the time-honoured classic, the Truer Memorial, with My General Lee. The leader, My General Lee, standing up on the inside later, spare me days, but it's My General Lee packing plenty of power. Oh, money speaks all languages. They backed it like it was unbeatable, and it was. Too good for them. My General Lee wins the truer. Over on trainer, Veronica Fisher trained her first winner, which was obtained at Young last Friday. The milestone was created with her mare, Star Play, which is the only horse Veronica has trained. And Star Play on the inside and on the outside, Rainbow on fire still. Uh, these two are going neck and neck on the inside, Letters on the beach, the outside, Miss Fifi. They get near the line and Star Play's go to hang on and Star Play has beaten Rainbow on fire. Young talent was certainly at the fore at Newcastle on Saturday night. 21-year-old Dan Morgan drove a double, 17-year-old Jake Hughes also landed a win and so did soon-to-be 17-year-old Will Rixham. Meanwhile, 20-year-old Mitch Chappell maintained his unbeaten record as a trainer when his third starter, Burning Ambition, won again. 28-8 was the quarter off the back. Burning Ambition with a kick. Highview Freddy's about to get out from behind it. Jimmy to the end of the tries to keep it in the pocket but can't do so. Burning Ambition in front. Highview Freddy's out. Burning Ambition. Highview Freddy coming at it. Burning Ambition clinging on and Burning Ambition all the way. On the topic of young talent, another Kevin and KC Seymour Evolution Series final was held at Tabcourt Park Menangle on Saturday night and this was the result. Alita still bright energy, Kerford Road doing its best to get on terms. There's nowhere to go for I Like It Hot. Drop the hammer, aphorism, and Mackerel starts to steam right down the extreme outside. Bright energy being gobbled up by Mackerel. Mackerel goes up, hits the lead, and Mackerel from the tail. Meanwhile, trainer driver Jared Alchin had his first big win in a while when I'm a Mystery Girl caused a minor upset in the Group 3 Teeny Teeny Stakes. But the leader, Culinary Delight, trying hard as I'm a Mystery Girl on the outside, it's inch by inch wearing back the margin. I'm a Mystery Girl trying to lift us Culinary Delight, but I'm a Mystery Girl. I'm a Mystery Girl's won the Group 3. Goulburn horseman Brad Hewitt left his local track on Sunday with a double, which included this win by his mare Real Obsession, who was the fastest winner on the program, stopping the clock in 155 flat. The leader Real Obsession, it's a dance off is the pursuer. It's giving chase, but Real Obsession, it has a kick. It's a dance off is trying hard, further out topsy grinner, but Real Obsession too good, and Real Obsession goes home to score beats. It's a dance off topsy grinner and a hoka squire. After spending some time in Perth recently for the Inter-Dominion Carnival, talented rainsman Todd McCarthy jetted off again on Tuesday. But before he left for Queensland to defend his title in the Australasian Young Drivers' Championship, Todd landed this win with Crockett's Cullen at Menangle. Crockett's Cullen, gauge just about hitting empty, coming at it as Platinum Roulette, Sapphire Swayze, it's still Crockett's Cullen in front, slowly but surely, Platinum Roulette's wearing it down, but it kicks Crockett's and Crockett's Cullen. Trainer driver Shane Hallcroft edged closer to a milestone following this win by Million Dollar Art at Wagga on Tuesday. Shane is now three wins away from training 100 winners. And on the outside, Million Dollar Art has gone up, is about to be challenged by Pure Cam, Million Million Dollar Art is in front, Beta House is boxing back, but Million Dollar Art is going to win. Million Dollar Art won it by, oh, seven or eight metres late. And that was another edition of the week that was. Thanks for watching.